what's up you guys welcome back to lifestyle with me my name is bianca and by the title of today's video it will be a dry skin skincare routine before we get started i would like to say thank you to everyone who watched my last video who liked and commented and subscribed and also before we get started i want to make two disclaimers my hair was curled before this it all fell in the rain so sorry if i look a mess and then my second one is if you guys hear a noise in the background, I'm no longer at home. I'm back at school in my bathroom. So it has like, I, there's no way I can control the vent because it's only one light on and off. So I'm going to try to talk as loud as possible for you guys to hear me. But anyways, let's jump so right So before we get started, I want to guys give you guys a background of like my skin, like my skin and what led me up to using all the products that you'll see me use later on in the video. So um, I, like I said, I, I have dry skin, dry acne prone skin so i've struggled with acne since like fifth grade um in high school i went to a dermatologist all the products they give me didn't work um i started to like maybe experiment with different stuff myself during like my junior year of high school um the stuff that i was using then kind of worked but i still had bad acne and bad dark spots um like my senior year it started to get better it got a little bit better from the products that i was using i don't use those products no more and i don't even remember what they were but then after senior year, my freshman year of high school, my skin started to revert back to having a lot of acne because I was like really stressed. So uh, I started to experiment with uh, Korean skincare products. I just started to use like different sheet masks and stuff and I started to notice that their products really worked for my skin. So with that being said, I use this thing called, I follow this thing called the Korean 10 step skincare routine. Once I get started, I'm gonna show y'all like, I'm gonna have the list of everything and how the steps work. And you guys are gonna see like, that's what I start now is just pin my hair back. And so I can go ahead and start the process of the, what I do as far as my skincare routine. And like I said, I have very bad dry skin. So all of the products that I use is hydrating products. But like I said, I do the um, Korean 10 step skincare routine. So uh, most of their products, are hydrating if that's the type of routine you want to follow and just a disclaimer what works for me may not work for anybody else that's watching this so if you see something that you want to use mind you everything will be listed in the description box so the first step in that is using an oil cleanser and plus makeup wipes so the oil cleanser that i use is i use this thing called all clean balm so how this works is I did my makeup just for this because y'all probably look like y'all probably looked at the list like I inserted you like she does that every day. I don't do every step every day because that's a lot and it's tedious. I did my makeup today so I could give you guys the full shebang. So like I said, I use this. So what you do first is um, you just take a scoop and then you just go around your face with this to remove all the makeup, all the impurities, everything on your face. still on the first step I usually me personally I know some people once they use like an oil a cleansing oil or like a cleansing balm or whatever they use they go ahead and just wash their face but I'm real paranoid when it comes to like makeup so I just like to take a makeup wipe and just take off anything that the balm didn't get or I missed or something and just <laughs> so then I like to move on so which step two is which is a water-based cleanser or any type of cleanser i mean personally it doesn't have to be water-based it's just whatever you use just anything that you wash your face with pretty much so i like to use the body shop tea tree skin clean facial wash this size bottle it looks pretty small this shit is 18 dollars, but it's really good the one that's like half of it is 12 and then i know they have like a real small one that's like six if you know you just want to test it out but I just go ahead with this onto my spin brush. I got this spin brush from Walmart for $4. $4. I'm not finna go out and buy one of those extravagant ones when they all do the same job, like honestly. So when I wash my face, I do this, I follow the rule, the 60 second rule when washing your face. I'm not gonna get into how that works. Just go ahead and watch some videos on YouTube. They have plenty. I found out about this through Jalea. Jalea, if you're watching this, shout out to you. This. So step three is exfoliating. 
so I don't know like if all of you guys who are watching this exfoliate or if you know about exfoliating, but you're supposed to exfoliate two to three times a week. Me personally, I don't. I only do it one or two times a week or whenever I feel like my skin really needs it. I have acne prone skin. I mean, I have really dry skin. So me exfoliating is stripping away the oils that I already freaking need to keep me hydrated. So when I exfoliate during the week, I use this thing called a uh, bio pill, gauze pill, and green tea. These, so they are just like pads. Like, so they come like this, and one side is to exfoliate, one side is like after you're done exfoliating to cool off your face. Like, there's no soap on my face. It it, it soaps up once I put water on it because you're supposed to rinse it off, but. I don't know why it doesn't during the process, but yeah. On to the next step, which is toner. So I use two different type of toners, but the one that I mainly use is, so I use two different type of toners. So the one that I use the most is this rice toner, but also I use um, Thayer's Witch Hazel either one but this is my favorite one um yeah i mean some people they put toner in their hand and they pat it in i just get a, a cotton round and i just tap it into my skin that way use i usually use this one all of the time and then i use the dire witch hazel like if i have a breakout so i've been using it for the last two days because i have like a breakout on my face y'all can see or you can't see and stuff but on to the next step the next step is this thing called essence so that probably sounds like probably unfamiliar to a lot of you that are watching essence I like essence is like uh, putting lip gloss on after you put on lipstick you already have something on your lips you just want an extra shine so like I personally haven't found an essence that I found like that did anything for me I did use it when I first started doing this 10-step uh, Korean skincare routine. So I started doing this like going almost like, two years ago, but it didn't really do it. Up to you, if you want to use Essence, research it. That's the most I can say. Like I can't, I personally can't explain it. I'm not an expert, but there's tons and tons of videos on YouTube on, or like articles that explain what Essence is. So the next step after you do Essence is treatment. So treatment could be anything like if you put oils on your face, if you put hyaluronic acid on your face, if you, you know, do any of those things. So the treatments that I do, I put, I know you guys seen in my last video, I use hyaluronic acid and then I also rub aloe vera on my face because that's what I use for me. So before anything, I'm going to go ahead and rub some aloe vera. So I have an aloe vera plant. I use the one my mom had at home, but my mom bought me one recently. So yeah, I just take a piece of it, I split it open, and then I rub it on my face. So while I explain what the benefits are of aloe vera. So aloe vera, for me personally, and what I've read, it helps clear up dark spots. And I have seen it do that for me because the camera's not picking it up, but I have a, like, like a lot of dark spots are just around this area and stuff, so it helps with that. So yeah, that's the benefits of aloe vera. I want, I would say if you want to start using aloe vera, I would personally buy an aloe vera plant, like the actual, like the ones that they sell at the store, the real big long ones. The one, the aloe vera that comes in bottles or jars or tubes, they don't do nothing. Not to my skin. Then I go in with hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid, I don't know if you guys know, but hyaluronic acid is good for hydrating. That's why I use it. And then it's also good for like soothing your face and also plumping it up. So like, if you ever notice like your face is dull or like it just, it's like ran down, you use hyaluronic acid a few times, you'll see the plumpness in your face. You won't have like big cheeks or anything, but you'll just see like more plumpness. So I just go in with like three dots on the main areas of my face. Step for the skincare routine is sheet mask. Um, me personally, uh, I use sheet masks when I like when I tell you when I do this, like all the way through, I use a sheet mask. Right now, I don't have any sheet masks, 
So I'm just going to insert some clips of what sheet masks are, what they look like. You just put it on for the duration of the time that's on the package. And I know you probably guys are like, well, you just did all of that. You put that all on your face. Why do you put a mask over it? Well, once you take off the sheet mask, you're not supposed to wash your face off. You're supposed to pat it in anyways. So, yeah. So the next step after that would be eye cream. I have an eye cream. Don't use it. It kind of like burns my skin. It's not for me. So you don't have to do that. That's why I told you guys I don't follow every step, but I do. Then the next step that I, you're supposed to do is moisturizer. So the moisturizer that I use is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream it's Intense Hydration Skin Protect. So this is what I use. Um, I bought this big old tube from TJ Maxx. Like I was looking for a new moisturizer for my face. Usually I use the Neutrogena Hydration. I insert a picture, but that ran out quickly. It was water-based and yeah, it just was running out too fast. So I needed something that was like for hydrating and that could, you know, last me a long time. step of the Korean skincare routine is skin protecting. However, skin protecting skin sunscreen, aka sunscreen. Now, I wear sunscreen. I've met plenty of African Americans that say they don't wear sunscreen because what for? And I just like kind of gave them like a look. If you're watching this and you're African American, wear sunscreen. If you find something that says SPF, that's sunscreen. Buy it, use it. Because if you're wondering why my dark, your dark spots are not going away or after you get a pimple or something and it leaves a dark spot but it's taking it much longer to go away, it's because you're not putting on SPF and then when you go out into the sun, the sun is making it more, you get what I'm saying. So put on sunscreen. For the sake of this video, I mean, I'm going to go lay down so I'm not about to go back into the sun because my day is over with. But if I was, I would be putting on sunscreen. The sunscreen that I use is called Super Goop. I insert a picture, I ran out of it, I have to go buy some more. But if you buy anything with like SPF in it, that works. So if you buy a moisturizer and it has SPF, you're good. I personally don't like buying moisturizer with SPF in it. I like to buy moisturizer, then put on my sun protectant, but different uh, strokes for different folks. So whatever works for you, works for you, works for me, works for me. So that's my skincare routine. We have reached the end. Um, that's what I do, like, as you can see, like, and now back to a basic bitch. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. All of the products that I use would be listed down below. And like I said before, what works for me may not work for you, but just research your skin. Like, that's what helped me. I researched, I figured, I always knew that I had really bad dry skin all year round. So then once I figured that out, I was like, okay, that is what I need to work on. Then I realized, then you have to find out what's in the products that irritate your skin. I knew that products that have alcohol in it irritate my skin. So I stopped buying alcohol-based products. And most of my products don't have alcohol in it because I read the ingredients before I buy it, if I'm ordering it offline or if I'm at the store. But like I said, just find what works for you. So anyways, I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and comment and share this video. And I'll see you guys.